Hey, Stephanie, how you doing? I'm doing great. Before we get into the special, I want to know, I'm curious, what did you think about the UAP report that came out Friday? I think the report is as important um, for what it doesn't answer as what it does. Um, it really gives no clue as to what these objects are other than to say, we don't know. I think that's really important because what we spend time in the report doing, what we spend time in the, on our special doing, is we're looking at the five possibilities they say this could be. From U.S. technology, foreign adversaries, a natural phenomenon, uh, air, airborne clutter, and other. And what you're going to hear in this, in this show is you're going to see one by one a Harvard scientist, senators, uh, former Navy pilots, you're going to see former Pentagon officials and others knock these down one by one. Um, and then you're going to see what you're left with and you're going to have to deal with it. But what the report does say that's important is that as long as we don't know this is a national security threat because there are objects swarming our military ships every day, not to mention what goes on outside of the military, just with our military ships every day. They're in the air around our Navy pilots. God forbid one of these things either strikes a commercial airliner or an airliner hits it because they are all over the sky and they are bizarre and you know, going from 80,000 feet in the air to sea level in a second and a half, hypersonic speeds breaking the sound barrier without sonic booms and no wings, no exhaust, uh, no, no skin the way we know it. There is something going on that we need to know. And until we do, uh, this is a threat to our country. Well, in making this special, did this at all change what you believe or don't believe? I mean, look, my feeling has been for a while that it's just impossible for me to think that in this, you, this vast universe that we are the only form of intelligent life. It just never made sense to me. Why? I mean, why would we think that? And if the premise is right, that there might be intelligent life somewhere else, look at what we've done in the last 50 years. We've launched people into space. We've put men in the moon. Uh, we have explored Jupiter and we have, ex uh, rather Saturn and, uh, no, excuse me, we've explored Jupiter and Pluto and we're going toward interstellar space. And so if we can go in that direction, why can't somebody maybe with a, a, an intelligent life form that maybe is a thousand years advanced from us, why couldn't they go in that direction? It's the same principle. So. You know, I think we have to open our eyes and our minds to something that is paradigm changing. So do you believe that there's a TMZ on another planet? <laughs> uh, look, I mean, we're really handling this seriously. And we, we are really looking at this in a really serious way because it is a really serious issue. And, you know, they have tried to, the military has tried to ruin the lives of some people in the military who have dared just to ask questions and speak out about this. And we talked to some of them, but literally and aggressively tried to ruin their lives. And this report actually acknowledges that, which I was shocked by. If there's anything that shocked me, it was that. And they said, look, we have got to stop this retaliation against people who speak out. We have to do the opposite and encourage people to come forward. That may be the biggest thing that comes out of this report. And of course, you can watch this UFO special Tuesday nights on Fox. Harvey, thank you again for talking with me. My pleasure.